How's it going, everyone? Brandon from the Mongway Guys, back with another Let's Read Tower of God video. This time it's chapter 131, or season 2, chapter 52 of Tower of God. And boy, oh boy, did stuff happen last chapter. Bah, the, the tower blew up. Kun is supposedly still there. Bomb is with Ron and Nobik and Kasano and Horyang and maybe Zia Zia. And they're on some kind of floating rock thing away from the hand of Arlene. Bomb thinks Kun is dead. Um, Team Sweet and Sour arrived at the wreckage, so they're probably going to find Kun. And uh, Apple is evil, along with Michael. They killed Gaetang, and then Rachel killed Dan. So basically everything's in shambles. <laughs> so let's see where this chapter takes us. I don't know what to say. Usually I say what I think is going to happen. I'm, I'm tired of being disproven. So we're going to Team Sweet and Sour right now. This is the end of last chapter. What happened in here? Oh, a lot of shit happened. Arc Raptor actually looking a little taller than usual right there. Tower of God, a game. That's the new story title. Chapter one. So that rock monster is floating away. Team Sweet and Sour didn't even get a chance to see it. And inside is just Bomb and Horian, and I'm um, Bomb Horian, Bomb and No Big and Ron. So I'm guessing Horian and Kasano are somewhere else, maybe in a different part of the monster. Phew, at least it seems we're alive. Okay, and now they're just waking up, and realizing where they are. They made the floating boat with soil dolls. They were going to blow up the hand of Arlene from the beginning. Well, Bomb wasn't, but I guess they were. Hey Ron, are you alive? The way they say that is so casually. Yeah. And Kun was left. Was he left in the rubble? Okay, so they are there, Horyang, and Sia is still alive. I thought she was gonna be dead. And Horyang's there too, and Kasano. Oh my, I wasn't expecting you to tag along. You. Why are you doing all this? She goes, it's to show off. What? Okay, so she's going to be a, ma a recurring character, kind of. It's not easy to become a symbol of terror and worship. I'm making the story of the birth of the new Slayer. How will people react when they know that he destroyed Arlene's hand to kill a son of a great family? I think most people will think it's how a Slayer nominee should be rather than blaming him. Actually, this is just the beginning. Now we will make the best team and join the workshop battle to eliminate all the E-Class regulars. We'll build his legend. Everyone will know he's the strongest. Okay, so that Thug thought like, way, way ahead. I don't know if she's in including Ron and Nobik when she says we'll make the best team. Because she wasn't planning on being them, bringing them along. Not even funny. The best team, you'll all die soon anyway. Ron is not happy run you will all die here you'll never get to the workshop uh well bomb is there but bomb is not on their side so it's like iffy and Cassano, we don't know how how strong he is if he is very strong or not and then she's just saying huh i, I don't think she's the strong one though i'm guessing it's Cassano. Okay, so the place is rumbling. Hey, Ron. Hey, are you okay, Ron? No problem. Nobik is kind of like a big brother. He's always. He just seems like he's always asking, hey, are you okay? No problem. He's bluffing. Yeah, he's definitely bluffing because he uses a lot of Shinsu attacks. So Ron's going out, and then Nobik's got his little discs out. And she's just saying, Kasano. I really don't like her. Just because she's a little crazy. Not as crazy as Rachel. No one's as crazy as Rachel, but she's a little crazy too. But she's just she's just a devout believer in Bomb and Fug and the Slayer. Well, okay, Bomb's going in the middle of them. Yeah, we should talk this out. Bomb jumped in the middle. And we're getting the first clear shot of Cassano's face, I feel like, besides the pitcher. Whoosh. What happened?
Bob Muir show off. He learned Nobik's technique after seeing it like once or twice. I think he did it on him twice. Fucking prodigy. Red spirit punch. Bob, stop it. Who's saying stop it? I don't want to fight against Mr. Kun's teammates. What is he doing? Mr. Kun's teammates? Why use the lighthouse? Oh, he's not talking himself. Why with the lighthouse? Did his pocket break during the explosion? Is he trying to keep up the facade? So they don't know that he's... So that Kun's teammates don't know that he's bomb, maybe? But they don't know who bomb is. Miss Zia Zia, I'll join the workshop battle with you. But... They're going with us. What? And she's whispering, is that your plan? Um, but the problem is, that's an order. Yo, bomb, taking charge. <laughs> I got no choice. Go for bomb. I don't understand what his game is, what his goal is. Hey, you two, it's annoying, but I'll put you on my team. What? Why would we follow us, or would you rather die here? So why worry about us in the first place? Yeah. Yeah, bomb! I feel like it'd be better if he it was just honest with the people, what's going on. But I mean, I guess he feels like he can't be, because Fug is, like, watching them. I guess I understand, but I wish he would just kind of try to talk it out. Okay, and then Bomb is sending a message on their pocket. I'm not your enemy, trust me. Mr. Kun must be alive. <laughs> Rod does not like taking orders from anyone besides Kun, I'm guessing, because he does not look happy. Looks like he's going against every fiber of his being, but he's going to agree. Alright, peace for now. And then <laughs> nobody's like, Ron? I'll join your team and go to the workshop battle. This throws me off. I thought they were going to go with Team Sweet and Sour, and it was going to be really cool, but now it's just going to be depressing, because Bob is against the people. Viol, Horyang. Viol. Viol Horyang, what Wangna? Why saying Wangna? What's wrong, Fame Flower? They're gonna find. They're gonna find Kun, flamethrower. There's Viol. There's Viol's pocket under here. Yeah, so he lost his pocket. Okay. Well, I thought it was kind of always by you, but I guess it just you can put it away from you and you can get lost. What? What should we do, Wangna? Obviously, we blow this rock to bits. <laughs> He's taking inventory out. Blow this rock to bits. I was going to ask why are they all wearing jackets, but I just realized it's the desert and it's nighttime, and uh, wow, the author is a lot smarter than me. What? Oh, he's taking his fucking Pokeballs out. What? Wait, it's danger. Okay, maybe, maybe this is how they're gonna find Kun then. They blow up some of the rock. Hey, there's. Yup, there he is. Right by the fist. It looks like it almost smashed him. Oh my god. A guy. His armor definitely protected him. Damn, you could tell. There's a guy, a guy, there's a guy down there. Oh, if only they knew. This is pretty cool though, so it's like bombs with two people who don't know who he is, Nobik and Ron, and then Kun is with a bunch of people who don't know who he is. It's like a trade-off. That's the end of the chapter? Oh, that was so quick. Okay, so that was the chapter. Super short compared to last week, that felt... Like, I mean, last week, last episode, it felt just like it went by so fast. So, Fug is different than what I thought it would be. I know it's like a criminal organization within the tower. 
kind of like a mafia. Kind of. Like, it has members, but it's, like, underground, and it's not, like, official. It's not associated with the rules of the tower. Like, the people who make the rules, they're not associated with it. Fug is his own thing. So, you'd assume that people would be afraid of Fug, but it seems like all these regulars and normal people will do what Fug says. And I thought Fug would have a bad stigma. Like, normal people would be like, no, Fug, Fug is bad. But these people, like Apple and Sia Sia, they're all, like, so open to just do what Fug says. Like, is, do people want to join Fug? Is like that, like, a big prestige? I, that's just a little confusing to me. Like, I guess if they're offering them positions to be in Fug higher up, but I don't think that's the case. I think they're just kind of... Maybe they're threatening them, like, do this or we'll kill you, but it's... It's a little strange to me. It, it just, like, it's, it strikes a weird note. Like, really? These people would all be willing to join this criminal organization, but... I, mean, I guess there's always people like that. So we got Sia Sia, Bomb, Kasano, and maybe Horyang, but he's out cold. Uh, and Ron and Nobik going towards the workshop battle, and apparently they're gonna like participate all together in a team. I don't know how big the teams can be in the workshop battle, but Shibisu is gonna be there and everyone else, and then Kun is probably gonna go with Team Sweet and Sour, so it's like that's where they're all gonna converse, but like. I wish Bomb was with his teammates when it happened, and I wish Kun was with his teammates, but his teammates, besides Ron and Nobik. <sighs> R.I.P. literally and figuratively. But anyway, Bomb is kind of being a mediator between Fug and Kun's teammates. He's saying, you can trust me, I'm not your enemy, but he's also going along with Fug, with what Fug and CZ are saying right now. Um, it seems like CSC is taking control over the situation over Kasano. I thought Kasano would take control, or like someone high up in Fug would show up, like Hung Sung, Hung Sung Yu, or the, like the other Slayer Nami, Karakata. I forget his name, sorry. I thought one of them would show up. But it seems like she's just taking control over the situation. Uh, maybe she's being fed information in her big bunny ears. Maybe someone's just whispering and she's picking up the uh, information from afar. <laughs> So Kun's alive. He was protected by his armor, it seems like. I'm hoping he doesn't have amnesia, though. For some reason, I had a f I have a feeling that there's going to be something that's going to inhibit him from from leaving the group. Because normal Kun, I feel like, he'd remember everything that happened, he'd be like, okay, where's my team? I gotta go find them. But I feel like Kun is gonna stay with Team Sweet and Sour, at least until they get to the workshop battle. So maybe he'll have amnesia? I hope not. But we'll see. Maybe he'll just, like, be knocked out for a while, and they'll take care of him, and he'll thank them and all that. So we're going to have to see what happens with that. Uh, I don't have much else to say. Not a lot else happened this chapter. I like the video if you did. Different kind of question today. Leave a comment down below. Who's your favorite girl in this series so far? Because it seems like a lot of the girls are kind of evil. Um, we got Rachel. If she's your favorite girl... Okay. But, um... And this bunny ear girl that's apparently now evil. But some people were saying she's cute because I compared her to Rachel a couple chapters ago. And someone was like, no, she's cute. Rachel's not. And I guess so. But, like, uh, just let me know who your favorite girl is in this series so far. And it could just be for personality or it could be she's your waifu. For me, Anak is cool, but she's a little too young for me. So it's going to be either, even though Anak's probably hundreds of years old. It's got to be either Endorsey or Iwa. Yeon. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like dating them would be like a chore because they're both like princesses. They both think very highly of themselves, but probably be one of those. Uh, I'll think about that more on a later date, but let me know who your favorite female is in the story so far. And subscribe if you like this kind of content. And always let me know how I can improve these videos because I'm trying to make them as best I can for you all. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or either is very much appreciated. You could actually catch the next episode of Tower of God right here on Patreon.com. I'm framing my hands badly, but right right there. And a quick thank you to my sponsor of Tower of God, Nitvik. Thank you so much for being a sponsor. You are awesome, and I hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a nice day.